today from Soldier Field in Chicago. This is the National Football League. see Justin Fields and the Chicago Bears taking on Trey Lance and the San Francisco 49ers. Bit of a sloppy track here at Soldier Field. Still getting some of the wraparound rain bands of a low pressure system that's hovered over Chicago the last couple of days. Today we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the San Francisco 49ers and the Chicago Bears. Santos now ready to get this one started. And off we go from Soldier Field. No run back here on the opening kickoff as we'll start at the 25. 49ers offense trots out for their first series and they're led by the third overall pick for the 2021 draft out of North Dakota State, Trey Lance. San Francisco opted not to throw Trey Lance into the fire right away, bringing him along slowly last season. He still drew two starts, though, and showed flashes of his huge dual threat potential in both. Almost 100 yards on the ground in a tough one against Arizona and 280 total yards in a win over Houston. No bringing him along slowly in year two. The keys to the car are officially his. On play action, Lance. Man open, that's Debo Samuel. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. That one goes for 24 yards. Partner, find me a star more on the rise than Debo Samuel after last season. Wide receiver, running back, kick returner. This man does it all for the San Francisco 49ers. Ranked third in the league in all-purpose yardage and deservedly made first-team All-Pro. Building on that with a first down here. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Now former six-round pick, it's Elijah Mitchell. And just one yard here from the 49 to the 50. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. On second down, here's Mitchell. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Throwing his lance on third down. Drops this underneath, it's Mitchell. And he's gonna come up a few yards short. Brought down at the 45. He did his best to just get four out of that, but not enough, and now fourth down. We can make this one pretty simple. Locked up all of his progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back, but how about the way they ran to the football and knocked it down to force a fourth down? And they'll go for it. Lance. And incomplete on the deep ball. The Niners go for it, but it doesn't work out. And this defense delivers a turnover on downs on the very first drive of the afternoon. 
Here come the Bears, and at the helm is someone that they have a lot of hopes for leading this franchise. The 11th pick in 2021 out of Ohio State, Justin Fields. Justin Fields endured some literal growing pains his rookie season, taking hits and being forced to run for it behind a porous offensive line. But he also had moments where he showed his upside as a franchise quarterback. He did win two of his first three starts and had a 100-yard rushing game against San Francisco in Week 8. Several off-season changes in Chicago should help get Field some help in year two. On first down, it's Fields. They'll set up the screen to Montgomery. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. And that's not a play that you see all that often at the start of a drive, but some teams, they don't mind doing it. And that one, well sold by the offensive linemen. They showed the pass, and then they got out into space, able to get some good blocks downfield and allow the play to be successful. Down to the 42, second down. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Now Fields. He'll get that complete to his tight end, Cole Komet. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers 30. Fields to Komet there for a Chicago first. The well, first drive here and the first time that we've called a big tight end's name. But I, I can assure you this, Charles, it, it won't be the last. No, it won't because when he gets going, now it opens up opportunities on the perimeter because that'll draw the defense towards him in the middle of the field. Now your wide receivers are getting involved as this game goes on. They're going to get about three here out of this first down run, and that'll bring up second and seven. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Go. Go. They'll keep pounding here with Montgomery. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. That one, a first down pickup of eight. How best to describe that one? I'd say right down Broadway on that run. The straight ahead running. I think that that might be something we see a lot of between the tackles today. Well, he's enjoying things so far here this afternoon. Sees a crease and bursts through it for a solid game. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Open man is Komet, the tight end. And they've got this down to about the 12-yard line. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. Looking to throw again on second down. Fields dancing to his left. And Fields going to have the first down before sliding to a halt to avoid the contact. No score after one on EA Sports. First and goal. They'll try to run it in, going option right. 
He'll pick up seven there on the first down keeper. A little do-it-yourself run right there and a nice game. And I like that he knew that that was about all he was going to get. So he did a nice job of protecting himself, took care of the football, took what the defense gave him. If they continue to allow him to do that, they'll find their way taking what they can all the way to the end zone. Second down and goal. Fields looking end zone, but it's incomplete. Now we've got third and goal coming up, and couldn't you imagine being in that little partner? You know they're looking at each other saying, we can't come away with just three points after this drive. Yeah, they've covered a lot of ground. They want more than that three. About a half yard from the end zone, third and goal. Montgomery. Forcing his way into the end zone. He was not to be denied. It's a touchdown. Everybody in the stadium knew what they were going to do right there, CD. Three tight ends on the field, all that extra bulk, and they run it in. And you saw where that one went, right? You run it over your best blocker. I can just see the head coach right now. I want to run this one over the big boy. And they got it done. The point after threw the raindrops up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. A 10-play drive that time. And it was David Montgomery's touchdown run that polished it all off. After the touchdown, here Santos to kick this one away. From the six. Oh, a good looking return set up here. And able to break this out all the way to the 38 yard line. Great return. Back out there comes the 49ers offense ready for their second drive. It hasn't gone particularly well for them. That's obvious. In these conditions, no points so far. They've got to get that offense on track. The question, how do they do it? It is the age-old question, isn't it? And to me, finding a way to make sure your playmakers touch the ball without it being too exotic, meaning you don't have to go deep down the field. Maybe you hit them on those short passes on the perimeter. Make sure you just turn around and hand it to your best runner and get out of the way. Don't cause any extra stress on your offense. So the completion good for six yards, and that's going to bring up second down. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Throwing again on second down. Lance. Again, he'll find Samuel for the completion. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. Lance now on first down. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. He did an okay job of absorbing the hit, just couldn't secure the football through the catch. And he was right there on the spot and forced the incompletion. That's something defenders work on all the time. If you're there, make the contact, but continue to work your way through the receiver so that you can't possess the football and turn it into a catch. They run over center with Mitchell. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. Another example right there how this defense really is winning the entire game at the point of attack. Yeah, right there at the line of scrimmage because they are dominating. It allows their interior guys to get upfield and spill into the backfield. So how are you going to combat that? You know, because they're bringing your tight end, keep him in. Your running backs, they have to step forward. Bottom line, your offensive line has to block them first to give yourself a chance. We'll see what they have drawn up here. A little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. And Lance now to throw. 
And a dangerous throw there as that's knocked down and incomplete. And that's a nice job there because you've got to play the ball, not the man winning coverage. That'll keep you away from a lot of needless penalties. And he's able to knock that one away. So on trots the field goal unit, and wow, this is going to be a challenge here. And this will be spotted on the other side of the field. It's a 61-yard attempt. That's running out of steam, and it won't get there. He left it just short. No good. And this will stay at a seven-point game. Chicago works their way back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. And just two series in here, Charles, but everything's gone to script so far. They got a touchdown on their first drive. Their defense holds, and now they've got a chance to take a two-score lead. And to co-sign with you, exactly the start they scripted up. And really, that kind of start, that can set the tone for the game for them. Well, this offense got to be loving this. After the long miss field goal, they'll take over on the other side of the 50. First and 10. On first and 10, it's Herbert. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. Hey, it's not the most spectacular play, but I think most teams will take that every single time for the first play of a drive. Begin the series with positive yardage and set yourself up for a very manageable second down. The last run got six, now second and four. Back to the ground, this time Montgomery. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. Forty ers have an extra defensive back on the field, a nickel set for third down. Here's Fields. Yeah, this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. That's an excellent play by the defender. He diagnosed that one, closed quickly, and helped force the incompletion. So they send out Trenton Gill. And now a low liner. I think he mishit it. And this one sails out of bounds. I think it'll be inside the 25. It will. 24-yard line is where they'll spot it. And the 49ers getting set to trot out there. And the last time that they were on the field, a little demoralizing. Missed field goal. You know, always feel like you want to get it in the end zone, but then, oh, well, at least we're going to get three. Didn't go through the goalpost, so. It does test the mental processes of a team, though, doesn't it? Because when you miss a field goal, it's amazing how fast they want to turn on the guy kicking the ball. But you need to keep his confidence up because how many times have we seen games where it comes down to a stretch? And guess what? You need that guy to make the big kick for your team to move on or to win a game. Make sure you keep him happy. Make sure you keep him comfortable. I'm sure you always treated the kicker nicely, though, right? You know, truthfully, I did. Good. I always did because those guys, they won us a whole lot of games. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Now a play fake. Lance. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. So that one a hold right guard. And you understand why offensive and defensive linemen probably go to martial arts schools and work on their hands so often because that could be the make or break difference on a play. This time he had to grab a jersey in order to make the play happen. Got caught for the penalty. They'll come up now on a second and long after the hold. Here's Lance to throw it. Open man is Samuel complete. Oh, that's just not fair. And now room to run. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. It'll go as an impressive 31-yard gain. 
This is what made the West Coast offense a staple around the NFL in the 80s and 90s. You don't have to push the ball deep downfield to come up with big plays, and there's an example of that right there. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. Throwing now is Lance. He'll get this into the hands of Ayuk. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as he'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Again, it's Lance. And an incomplete pass. Stop the clock here with just under a minute to play in half number one. They've been playing sound fundamental defense thus far and able to keep this offense from creating a major dent on the scoreboard. Able to force the incompletion, but still waiting for that game-changing play. You feel like it's coming, the first sack, the first turnover. In a sense, they're playing old-school defense right now. The new-school defense is what you said, taking the ball away. A good chance this is four down territory if they're unable to convert. But right now looking at a third and three. Lance looking to throw it. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. And Lance going to throw. And he will find his man, Samuel. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the ten to the seven. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. That's the third time on this drive that these two have connected with each other. They've got a real rapport going, and right now it's paying off with big chunks of yardage as shown by that last play. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. Lance looks to throw again. That is caught by the tight end, Kettle. Touchdown, 49ers. A seven-yard touchdown grab. And the 49ers are on the board here in the final minute of the first half. I don't think it's any state secret to know what they were saying before the start of this drive. Let's go and punch one in the end zone and go into the halftime feeling a heck of a lot better about ourselves. Let's go get this done. Yeah, tie things up, and then you get a brand-new ball game. Robbie Gold on for the extra point. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And it all ends with a George Kittle touchdown. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. This fielded right at the goal line. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. And a 
Bears going to get one more possession in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Just 18 seconds remain till halftime as they come up on first and 10. They'll indeed try to run it out as they start on the ground. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. So thanks to the late touchdown, it's a time ball game here heading to break. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios in this EA Sports Halftime Report. We thought this one would be a close battle coming in, and we have not been disappointed. But they are all even to this point. So to see if either side can pull away, Let's get you right back out to Brandon and Charles for the start of the second half. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. to continue as we are underway in the second half. Taken at the goal line. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. So here's the Bears offense now as they get set to start this third quarter. Well, the first half, very even. I mean, really, in all facets, this ball game tied, Charles, so as we start the third quarter, curious to see what the second half brings us. Certainly am. I'm with you on that one. And we all know a lot of coaches from the NFL all the way down to the Pee Wee level. They love to spin it to their teams. Hey, we're starting a brand new shorter ball game. It's all even. Let's go out and seize it. This is ours. Third quarter starting with a run from Montgomery. And a short pickup to about the 27. It'll be second down. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. Back to Montgomery on second down. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. Seven yards there and a first down. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. Man, I just love being in this stadium. So much history, tradition, so many great teams and games, and we're seeing a pretty good one right now, hotly contested in the third quarter. Takes it to about the 37. A big part of a middle linebacker's job is being able to take on blocks and then go make plays. But the best ones, they have those big guys in front of them playing defensive line to hold blockers off of them and allow them to flow sideline to sideline and make the big hits. This a second and seven from the 37. Now it's Fields. And the Niners get there and bring him down. It'll go as a loss of about six, and now it brings up third. We are seeing two really confident defenses imposing their will on these offenses in this game. Yeah, absolutely, going toe for toe. Just curious if one of these offenses can wake up a little bit. Is there any way they can find something that can pop, something big to knock them back on their heels? So now following the sack, Fields and the Bears looking at third down and long. 
Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. So a stop here defensively to start this third quarter. Just what's needed in a tie ball game. Yeah, good chance to build back some momentum on the defensive side of the ball. In fact, what they've done is give their offense a nice push in the back as they get ready to take the field. Here comes the Bears punter now as he'll punt it away for the second time. Dancing away at the 35. That'll go as a punt of 32 yards. And the Niners will go on offense first and 10. Debo Samuel trotting out with his offense to start this next drive. And I know that they double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. Ready? Lance in the 49ers now. First and 10 Spring. Spring. at their 38. Now Lance. And they will not get the connection there. It's incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Tied up. This is second and ten. Up the middle. Here's Mitchell. And he'll muscle his way up to the 43 for a pickup of right around five. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. The Bears bring out an extra defender in the secondary now for third down. To throw, it's Lance. Open man is Ayu complete. And he is going to have a Niners first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. But whenever you call and run the hitch route, a lot of times that ball's got to be in the air before the receiver even turns around. That's the result of throwing it so many times in practice is really a timing route. Make sure that ball's out of your hands. And oftentimes the receiver turns around and there's the ball. Nice completion there. First down, Lance. Over the middle, that's caught by McLeod. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Here's second and five now from the 37. Try the right side with Mitchell. Oh, a heck of a move. Oh, man. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets it down to the 30 there. Seven yards there and a first down. And where did this kid come from last season? Overlooked leading up to the year, he then goes for nearly 1,000 yards in just 11 games. He's a top 10 rusher as a rookie and should be a centerpiece of San Francisco's offense moving forward. On first and 10, here's Lance. Over the middle, complete to Samuel. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. First down, here's Mitchell. And they go the wrong way here. Knocked back to the 20. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. Ready. 
On second and 11 now. Lance. Slant route connects with Debo Samuel. And the 49ers are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. It'll be first and goal when we come back. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Field goal could get him the lead, but it might not be enough here as they come up on first and goal. Mitchell is in. Touchdown, 49ers. Just power football there down near the goal line. Give it to him. He's able to push his way across. Yeah, they went heavy there. Sometimes you have those big offensive linemen come in after report like they're eligible, but all they're doing is getting a good stance blocking and getting their runner across the goal line. Now gold for the extra point. He's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. So that drive consumes nine plays all told. And it's culminated by a two-yard touchdown run. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. This one fielded at the five. And he takes this near the 25. Just a little pass there. Call it the 26. The Chicago offense set to get started. They now trail by seven after that last touchdown here in the fourth quarter. What a big spot for this offense. See if they can cobble something together on this drive. Fields and the Bears now with a first and ten at their own 26. To throw his fields. Finds Komet on the quick slam. Uh, he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. But right there, he rose to the occasion late in a close game. It's something he thought about, dreamed about, and worked on throughout his career. Because in these types of situations, he wasn't going to allow extra coverage to keep him from getting the football. Now they run the option on second down. He has enough for the first down of the keeper, a gain of six. So that was all you're looking for on a play like that. Get the first down and keep the drive moving. Yeah, it just looked to me like he just said to himself, I've got this, I'll take it, I'll pick it up, and let's keep moving. Get the first down, get a new set, and let's start over. Clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and ten. Here's Fields. He'll get that complete to his tight end, Komet. That's good, the completion there for seven yards, and it'll be second down. That's a staple of this offense, drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. From just shy of midfield, Fields and again back to Komet and he'll be taken down but not before they work this to the 45. Well 
Well, certainly those are the types of mistakes they're trying to avoid as they attempt to protect this lead late in the game. And let's face it, they're hoping that this one doesn't cost them in a significant way. Yeah, one guy committed a penalty, but now the entire defense has to pay the price and try and rise up and overcome it. So the penalty yards marched off on the face mask. Here's first and 10. Out of the gun, Fields. Man open, that's Byron Pringle complete. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. He decided to run a hit route. It really helped to have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. From the 22, Fields. Under pressure, and he'll go down. Back at the 26-yard line. Javon Kinlaw able to drop him for a loss of four from his defensive tackle spot. Got to give him points for the attempt, but there's just a wave of pressure there. A host of people in the area. Evades a few, but couldn't evade all of them. They got to get to the 20 to keep the drive alive on third down. Fields. And they're going to get this down to about the 17-yard line here. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Bears with the football here as we welcome you back. They come up on a first and ten, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and ten. A handoff for Herbert. There to stop him on the defensive side, Fred Warner. I like the call there because that was one to take time off the clock and get them closer to getting out of here with a W. In the mind of the play caller, all you want to hear is tick, tick, tick. The Bears moving hastily in the hurry-up offense. Now Fields. And he's taken to the ground, but he was pulled down by the face mask. Here come the flags, and I believe this is going to be a first down. The Charles are trying to protect this lead late. Those are the types of mistakes they could afford to go without. About the last thing you want to give them is help in completing a comeback, which is exactly what that penalty does. So the yellow flag came out, and that leads to a new set of downs for this offense, first and 10. Here's Fields. And he wisely will throw that one away. Limited time left on the clock after that incompletion, so I think both sides are going to savor every second to prepare before the next snap. Because once the ball's in motion, it may be a nonstop push to finish this drive off. Everyone better be on the same page right now because I think they're going to try and get several plays off in quick succession if they can. Back to throw. Fields. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Third and long coming up defensively. You pressure the quarterback or drape all over the passing lane? Yes, that's exactly what you do. It's both <laughs> because they're not mutually exclusive. They may have been at one time in football, but not anymore. You want to have that pressure. If you have a big-time pass rusher, send him after the quarterback and then make sure you blanket the field. All eyes on fields. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. If they get a game-changing score on this drive, 
it's going to be because of plays like that. That run was pure heart. Took it himself, found a way to reset the downs, and advance the ball. A looming decision to make on the conversion, down seven. But first things first, they need to... And it's caught! It's a touchdown! So they rally here in the final minute, and they're an extra point away from tying this game. That was quite the call down around the goal line on fourth and goal. Yeah, they fake the run, pull it out, throw it. And as a defense, I've been in that spot before, and we see it all the time. You almost have to overcommit against the run. You have to almost sell out and say, they're going to run it, go make a play. They got fooled on that one. Now the point after try for Santos. And no sweat, he puts it through, and we are tied here in the fourth. So that one a long 11-play drive. And the touchdown at PAT mean we are tied here in the final minute of play. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And this taken in at the goal line. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. And San Francisco gets set to go here. Well, partner, here it is. They've got the chance to win the game. You'd have to think they need to get it near the opposite 40 to have a chance to kick a game-winning field goal. We'll see what they can do. And you're right about that, because if we look at it in macro, that's what it looks like. But I think in micro, the head coach has already asked the special teams coach, what is he feeling? What does he think? Where does he want the football? What's the yard line we have to get? And he's already relayed that to his quarterback and his offense. They know what the goal is. Now the key, can they get there? Dropped underneath to Mitchell. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. And they may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. That's a nice job right there, partner, because they were able to work down the middle of the field, working in the seams, because I think defensively, they were guarding the sidelines, trying to keep them from getting out of bounds. They took what they gave them, and it was successful. Here's Lance. That's another one complete to Mitchell. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 ticks remaining on the clock. back to throw throwing over the middle and it's incomplete Ray Ray McLeod the intended target and it's third and short coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first Lance looking to throw. Throw left side complete to McLeod. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as the clock will stop with 18 seconds remaining. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Lance going to keep it on the option. And down inside the 35, he goes to the 32-yard line. He'll pick up seven there on the first down keeper. And, 
And we will get a timeout with two ticks left. So now it'll all come down to Robbie Gold. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. And now this game's going to come down to the right leg of their kicker. Footing obviously an issue in the driving rain. This one for the win. And his kick is good. Despite the rainstorm, a good snap, a good hold, and the kick went through. And Union Street will be hopping tonight. The 49ers have won it. Well, you really can't ask for much more than what we just had here. Not only a close game that went down to the wire, Charles, but a clean one, too. No turnovers in this contest. And I think you're exactly right about that. To me, this is just a pair of offenses trying to find the slightest bit of separation from each other. And they were both hoping that the other side would make the big mistake first. But today, neither side made that mistake. And what we got, a very entertaining game throughout. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn. And this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. With that, we say so long from Soldier Field.